touch it, touch it, touch it, touch it, bring it, pay it, watch it, turn it, leave it, stop for mad and touch it, bring it, pay it, watch it, turn it. Yes, so welcome on board again today, my wonderful audience. Today we'll be learning something simple and straightforward again. Since the advancement, advancement of technology has come to stay, we need to constantly think of how to update our knowledge, how to interact with the machine the way we really get results that we want. So in interacting with the machine, you need to understand that, you understand how programming languages are written, especially for the case of the virtual DJ if you're a DJ or any DJ device you're using. So most of the time, the programming languages, the way they are written in English, which is an added advantage for people in the English speaking languages in the English speaking countries. Since the machine language is written in English most of the time and the, mach the code is written from your left to right. So that is how the machine you write and that is how the machine reads it down from top to bottom. So this gives you a guide on how you write your script, that is the mapping script of your virtual DJ device to get the kind of result you want. There's a combination that if you do, you might not really get the exact effect that you want. Not because you didn't write it well, but you fail to acknowledge the fact that the machine also has its own way of reading the, the instructions. So the verbs are there for you, how you combine it really matters. You need to understand that there is a micro aspect which is individual command and there is a macro aspect which is combination of commands and in combination of command you can go as low as from the simplest level to the complex aspect which is basically the aspect of tenor operator tenor, tenor operator is talking about querying the machine what state is it if i ask you how are you there is possibility that you tell me that you are fine if you are actually fine and you are there is possibility that you might tell me that you are not feeling fine so what determines you telling me whether you are fine or you are not fine is the state of your health at that point in time. So understanding this really matter. Is the machine playing? If it is playing, stop. Is if it is not playing, start the song. Is the echo effect active? If it is active, or I stop the song. If it is not active, then echo effect. If both of these are not, then start the song from the beginning. So understanding how to combine these things really matter. Let's see a little brief on some quotes I have for you here so that I'll give you a guide on how you can do it. Let's go to my setting. So from here, I have two simple commands for you. So the first one I have here is control comma. So don't worry, this command will be is explicit is in detail. Let me remove control comma so this is it in full this is it in full we have down it's asking the machine is it down i'm querying the machine is the key down if it is down effects cut off so in this case if there is any effect that is on it turn it off this is not really the issue in this case i'm having only one single command here this is deck underscore deck active is the deck active effect the deck that is active effect underscore active that is loop out so execute this loop out effect if the deck is active that means the deck that i choose that is currently playing is the effect that will attach to it so in this case this is a simple command you can use this one alone without necessarily attaching this first part so you don't need to attach this first part sometimes most of the time only this one alone will do the job for you then Another second command, you are going to test them, but let me show them one after the other so that by the time I'm testing it, you are going to see the difference in the output. We have the second one, which is let me show the second one, which is control tab. Okay, so sorry, control caps lock. In this case, I'm querying the machine, so this is a little bit complex, though not really complex as it is. Let me go with the second command first. This is tab. This is a complex one. This one is asking, is the machine playing? Is the deck playing? If it is playing, effect underscore active, echo. It's also querying again. Is the echo effect on? So two, there are two questions here. I'm asking, is the deck playing? If it is playing, is the echo effect on on that deck? 
if these two commands are yes, it's going to pause the song. That's why we have pause after these two question mark. Then there is a column. This column again now goes further to say if it is actually playing but the echo effect here is not on it's going to turn on the echo effect don't worry you see it in action and then put the level at 80 percent the reason why i'm bringing down the level at 80 percent is there is a possibility that when you are echoing the sound effect is bound to increase so this to make sure that i maintain a stable volume then i now come to column again this column is going to be the third part of the command which in this case if them if this first command here this first part you can see how it is highlighted so this first one if the machine is not playing that is if the deck is not playing then it's going to execute this last command that is it's going to turn off the echo effect it's going to turn off the echo effect and then hot cue start the song from the beginning again this is what this does then this is the second command let's go to the third command this third command is also a bit it's not too complex but how you combine it there is also another this is it is i'm asking the machine is the keyboard down if my keyboard is down effect underscore active echo is going to echo put on the echo effect and then put the level at 80 percent if it is not if my keyboard the moment i release my key that is what this column is saying the second part of this command is going to be executed which is it's going to pause the phone song and return the volume at 80 at 100 percent so don't worry we are going to test it so that you see the uniqueness of each of these one after the other my first one is let me in summary my first command is control comma my second command take note just the caps lock which is the one that takes care of putting on the echo effect and starting the song and turning off the echo effect it depends on the number of times i press it so it's going to be it's going to be, it's a repetitive loop event here then i have and i now have again the same thing again control the same cap in this case you are going to see the difference in this case it's going to put on the echo effect and the moment i release my key it's going to pause the song if you make a mistake let me state it here this is why i'm explaining this video now if you make a mistake and you put this pause before you swap the position of this pause you bring it to where this echo is at 80 percent on is here and you decide to move this one to the front here forget about it it will not work because the split of the second is what really matters that gives off that e effect don't worry we are going to test it so that you see it for yourself let's go back to this so that we'll give it a try for you to see so this is the song we are starting with the first one this is it control look at it control this is it comma control comma okay 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 you just saw how it loop out it was going down gradually gradually until the song went mute that is what the this first con as i showed you earlier which is just a loop out effect just a little instruction i'm going to the all the command are going to be arranged at the description of this video let me start the song again i'm going to the second command so this is the first command that i just use look at it this is it so this is the first command i just use i'll go to the second one So this is the second command. Let's see it. Here's it. Caps lock. Caps lock. You can see how the echo is own echo is also different. If I press it again, it starts the song. You can see. So this is the scripting for this particular one.
this is it i'll show you i've explained it I will go to the third one now so that you see the difference again you can see how this one goes abrupt it goes off just cut off and repeat the echo in bit until it's end start it again this is it so you can see how unique so i'm going to combine each of them so that one after the other so that you see the difference you can see this is the first one is the first one i'll go to the second one now i'll go to the third one now so you can see how this one goes off it fades off completely gradually gradually okay 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 so thank you very much for being there. Keep a date with me as I'm continue to give you. Keep a date with me as I continue to give you the very best and more to come. The, the this mapping is, will be available at the description of this video. Right, you can like, subscribe, follow, keep a date. Your comments, suggestion, any point of view or any idea you think you really need help on on mapping, feel free to let me know. I will see how I can help you out. Thank you very much for being there. Let's move on. Get the fire ready. Okay, 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 okay. okay, okay, okay.